Hey everyone, it's Sammy with Two Bright Saves and I'm bringing to you a deal that you can do if you have the spend 10, get $5 off. And also if you have the spend 35, get 10% off. I will be combining that with this booster right here so that I can get 7,000 points for spending $30 in the transaction. If you want to skip around during the video, there'll be time codes in the description and also a link to a printable breakdown. Before I go over the deals that I'm going to be doing in this video, I wanted to highlight Christina's message because she DM'd me and showed me that she used points on a spend deal for the beauty event and she got her points back. She used 20,000 points and got back 46,000 points. Not only that, her out of pocket was 64 cents plus tax. So if you have been scared to use points on a spend deal, don't be scared. Just make sure you are meeting that spend amount after you use points and IBCs and you will always get your points back. If you are scared about using points on a spend deal, you can always DM me or leave me a comment with the transaction that you plan to do and I can kind of let you know if it will work or if it won't work. So that way when you go in store, you don't have to be nervous about getting your points back after using points on a spend deal. There are several different digital deals that you can do at Walgreens this week. So definitely check out this video right here. I'll have it linked in the iCards and also at the end of the video, I go over all the digital deals that you can do this week. And I also go over a beginner scenario that you can do. In addition to that, I also have a spend 20, get $5 off scenario that you can do if you have that booster available. On one of my accounts, I got the spend 10, get $5 off. So here is a deal that you can do if you have that particular booster you can pick up three of the crest toothpaste they are three dollars and when you buy three you're going to get a four dollar register reward so three of them is going to be nine dollars we have a digital coupon for five dollars off of three so make sure you have that clipped Crest is a part of PNG, so make sure you submit your receipt to pggoodeveryday.com so that you can get points for purchasing this crest Next, you want to pick up two of the Arizona iced teas. They're on sale for the entire month for two for one dollar. These are all of the items for this first transaction. The total for all of these items is ten dollars. First, the five off of ten will apply to this and it's going to have a balance of five dollars. Then the five off three coupon is going to be deducted and the out of pocket is going to be zero dollars plus tax. Then at the end of the transaction, I'll get the $4 register reward for the Crest, making this transaction free and a $4 moneymaker. Make sure you guys are checking your clearance section because I just found this Revlon product for $1.14. And if I combine this with the lip balm, that's going to be a pretty low amount that I'll have to pay. And I'm hoping that the $5, $4 register reward will still print. I just finished at checkout and everything went perfectly. You can see that the Arizona iced teas rang up like it was supposed to. The Crest rang up like it was supposed to. The 5 off 10 came off and so did the $5 coupon. My subtotal was $0 plus tax. I paid $0.33 cents out of pocket. And you can see right there, I got my $4 register reward. I also did the transaction with the clearance Revlon and you can see that I got the Kiss Balm modified to 369 and the Revlon rang up for 50% off. My total was 426, I used 4,000 points, paid 56 cents out of pocket and you can see right there I got the $4 register reward for the Revlon. For my second transaction, I'm going to be doing the spend 35, get 10% off and I'm going to be combining it with the spend 30, get 7,000 points paper Catalina booster. Because I'm using that Catalina booster, I will not be able to use points to pay on this transaction and still get the 7,000 points back. I will also be using paper coupons on this transaction. If you do not have paper coupons and you still want to do the spend 35 get 10% off, I'm going to show you guys another option that you can do for the spend 35 get 10% off using all digital coupons. CoverGirl products are buy one and get one 50% off this week. So you want to pick up one of these clean professional loose powders. Make sure it's either 115 or 105 
in store they are $7.49 but online they are $4.99 and you will need to get a price match for this item just scan the item on your phone show it to the manager and they should price match it for you all stores are supposed to price match but not all of them do so you can show them the link that I have in my description and hopefully they will price match it for you once you get the price match for $4.99 you are going to use this coupon right here for three dollars off of one face product this is found in the smart source 89 then you will need to pick up one of these CoverGirl eyebrow pencils. Make sure you get the one that says Rich Brown 505 because it is online for $4.49. So you will need to get a price match for this item because it's buy one get one 50% off and this is the lower price item. It is going to bring up for $2.24. We have a $2 coupon in the Smart Source 823 that will be deducted from this item. The next item that you're going to need to pick up are two of these Rimmel Brow This Way. I got it backwards. So it's a Brow This Way eyebrow definer. You probably can't see that, but you'll need to pick up two of these. They are $4.79 and they're buy one, get one 50% off. So one is going to ring up for $4.79 and the other is going to ring up for $2.39. We have these $1 coupons that are from the smart source 614 that you will need to use for this particular item and we also have a four dollar off two coupon from the ivc coupon booklet on page 23 that will also apply to these items the next item that you will need to pick up are two of these mascaras. In store they are $8.99 but online they are $6.29 and you can see that they're buy one get one 50% off and when you buy two you're going to get a $4 register reward. So one of them is going to be $6.29 after you get the price match. The second one is going to be $3.14. Then you are going to use two of the $3 off one coupons that are from the Smart Source 816, and that will apply to these items. Next, you will need to add two of the L'Oreal L Vibes to the transaction. They are $8, and we have a $2 coupon in the IVC coupon booklet on page 28. That's going to deduct $2. There is a $4 digital but i am going to be using this four off two coupon from the retail me not 823 because i plan on using register rewards and i don't want to have any issues with coupons coming off if i use the digital next you will need to pick up one of these neutrogena acne soaps they are 349 there's a three dollar coupon that was on coupons.com it's no longer available but there's also a digital and i think it's expiring soon so you can use that for this item you will also need to pick up one of the all detergents. They are $2.99 and I was so lucky to have a subscriber. Her name is Victoria. She sent me a bunch of these $2 off one coupons for the all. She got it from I think her doctor's office. So I'm super grateful that she sent me these coupons because I'll be able to use this and this will only be 88 cents. You will also need to pick up one of the All Power Packs. They are also $2.99 even though my store does not have them labeled. And you will use one of the $2 off one coupons from the Retail Me Not 823 that will deduct $2. Now this coupon has a limit of one and so does the other coupon that I had. So that's why I'm only getting one of each. The last items that you will need to pick up are two of the big pens. You can see that they are $3.99 and they're buy one, get one free. And I have this coupon right here that's going to take $3 off of two. Although we can't use coupons on a free item at Walgreens, if you're purchasing two of the items, you can still use a coupon that's a certain amount off of two and it will still work. The last items that you will need to add are two items for a dollar. You can get the blow pops or you can get any other kind of candy. You can also get the Arizona iced tea. The reason why I need to add this extra dollar is because after coupons, my total is gonna be around $8 in change and I have $9 in register rewards. So I need to add an extra dollar so that I can use those register rewards to not have any issues at checkout. 
These are all of the items for this transaction. The total for all of these items is $46.08. The first thing that is going to be deducted is the IBC coupons for the L'Oreal and also for the Rimmel. That's going to give me a balance of $40.08. Then the 10% is going to be deducted. It will deduct $4.01, leaving with a new balance of $36.07. I have $27 worth of coupons. That's going to give me a final out of pocket of nine dollars and seven cents but i have nine dollars in register rewards that i'm going to use which is going to bring me down to just seven cents that i'll have to pay out of pocket plus tax then at the end of the transaction i'm going to get the seven thousand points for spending thirty dollars and i'm going to get a four dollar register reward for purchasing the alme that's going to make this free and a $1.93 money maker. If you plan to use register rewards to lower your out of pocket, make sure that you are not using a register reward from Revlon or Almay that you got this week, like one of the $4 ones, because if you do, a new $4 register reward will not print for the Almay. I'm at checkout and I had them scan my Catalina booster and a lot of you guys have been telling me this that when you, they scan it it says it's expired and it's clearly it's not expired so I'm not sure why that's happening. The cashier went to ask the manager to see if I'll still be able to get the 7,000 points because as you can see I'm well over the amount so hopefully they'll apply the 7,000 points after I'm done checking out. I just finished at checkout and everything did not go exactly as planned. I had issues with the booster not scanning. It said it was expired and I know that has happened to some of you guys and it happened to me but luckily the manager did credit me the 7,000 points so I'm grateful for that. The Bic rang up like it was supposed to. The Rimmel did not ring up like it was supposed to. It was supposed to ring up for $4.79. I didn't see it until after I was finished. You could see it rang up for $6.79 and 339 so get the pencils and not that definer that I showed you because I thought it was 479 it rang up for that price at a different store but at this store it's two dollars more you can see that the cover girl was modified to 499 and also 224 was the 50 percent off price for the brow pencils the Alme rang up for 629 and 314 and the register reward did not print for the Alme. So I don't know if it's just the fact that Alme is not printing the register rewards because no register reward printed. But when I did the Revlon, it worked. So I don't know what's going on with that. You can see that the all rang up like it was supposed to. The power packs that I showed you guys in the video earlier did not ring up for 288. So do not pick up those. Make sure you pick up one of the other ones because this is the one I had to switch to right here because the one I showed earlier didn't work. The L'Oreal 05 ring up like it was supposed to. Here are my blow pops and you can see that the Neutrogena also rang up like it was supposed to. 10% took off 430. Here are all of my coupons. My subtotal was $2.77, but it should have been less because of the Rimmel. I paid 5 cents. 87 with tax and you can see right here I did not get any points back but like I said the manager did credit me the 7,000 points so I'm very grateful for that and my register reward did not print and they wouldn't give me points for that uh, okay <laughs> I had to I will be submitting my receipt to support not Catalina to get the register reward for the Almain not printing this is the brow this way pencil that you will need to pick up instead of the eye definer because this is actually 479 whereas this is ringing up for 679 and that's not what we want to pay for this next scenario i'm going to show you guys how you can get the 10 percent off of 35 using all digital coupons the first item that you will need to pick up are two of the garnier fructis they are two for seven dollars and we have a four dollar digital coupon the next item you will need to pick up are two of the L'Oreal L5. They are two for $8. We have this $2 coupon from the IBC coupon booklet. That's on page 28. That's going to deduct $2. And we have a $4 digital coupon. Next, you will need to pick up three of the Crest toothpaste. They are $3. You get a $4 registry reward when you buy three. 
and we have a five off three digital coupon. You will also need to pick up two of the Colgate toothpaste that are $2.99. When you buy two, you're gonna get 3,000 points. So two of them is gonna bring up for $5.98, and we have a $3 off two digital coupon. The next item that you are going to add are two of the Dixie plates. You can also add the to-go cups if you want because it is on Ibotta, but as I'm looking down here, my store does not have the to-go cups, so you can just go ahead and get the plates if you need them. They are $3.99 and buy one, get one free, so you're gonna pick up two of them, and we have a $1 off two digital coupon. If you pick up the to-go cups, make sure you do submit to Ibotta to get a dollar back on both of them. The last item you'll need to pick up is one of the Scott paper towels, or you can get the tissue or the Kleenex. It's gonna all be the same deal. So they are $5, and we have a $1.25 IBC coupon that's gonna be deducted, and we have a $1 digital coupon. These are all of the items for this scenario, and unfortunately, I will not be able to do this scenario because I've already used my spend 35, get 10% off. The total for all of these items is $38.97. The $2 and the $125 IBC will come off for the Scott and the L'Oreal L5, leaving a balance of $35.72. Then the 10% will come off, deducting $3.57, leaving a balance of $32.15. Now, our coupons will be deducted. We have $18 worth of coupons, leaving a final out-of-pocket of $14.15. If you want to use points or register rewards to lower your out-of-pocket, you can use them with this particular booster. So if you want to use a $4 register reward and 10,000 points, you can definitely do that. And you will not need to add any filler items for the register reward because we have a lot of items that are not attached to a particular coupon. For example, we have one coupon for the L5 and this is free, one coupon for the Fructis and this is free, one for the Dixie and this is free, one for the Colgate and this is free, one for the Crest and these two are free. And when I'm saying free, that means free for a register reward to attach to. So I don't see where you'll have any issues with your digitals coming off, but if you do have issues with your digitals coming off, make sure you call Walgreens to let them know so that they can give you points for that missed coupon if you plan on using a register reward. At the end of the transaction, you're gonna get a $4 register reward for the Crest and 6,000 points for the Colgate. And you can choose to use those rewards right away on other items, or you can save it for next week's deals. Once you get all of your rewards, this is gonna end up being $4.15 for 12 items or just 35 cents each. These are all of the items from all the different transactions. For transaction number one, it was $0 plus tax, so I ended up paying 33 cents out of pocket. For transaction number two, it was 26 cents plus tax and I ended up paying 56 cents out of pocket for transaction number three it was 277 plus tax and I ended up paying five dollars and 87 cents so my total out of pocket that I paid with tax was six dollars and 76 cents if you want to know how much it would cost you it would be three dollars and three cents plus whatever tax it is in your state all of these items ended up being free and a $2.94 money maker. I did have to call Walgreens to get the points for the Revlon, not the Revlon, the Almay register reward not printing. And like I said, my booster for the 7,000 points when you spend 30 did not work, but the manager did credit me those points. So all in all, I'm super grateful that this ended up being a money maker. And if you cannot do the exact same transaction that I did for the spend 35, get 10% off, you can do the alternate scenario that I showed that was all digital. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you guys are able to score on some items this week at Walgreens.